Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Casner of Sky and today our very first message comes to us from Mayor John Tux. It has come to my attention that our scrap pile is not growing, despite it being thoroughly irrigated. To battle this, we have established Scrap Farmington Department of Sciences, and we're trying groundbreaking technology like giving the scrap grilled potatoes in order to counter the effects. <laughs> Meanwhile, I urge citizens to clean up the surroundings of the carousel in order to prepare for the grand opening of this carousel. I simply cannot wait for the full 400 horsepower of fun coming our way. And soon it shall, Mayor Tux. Uh, we also have another message from someone in Ruins Deep. A resident from Ruins Deep says that he enjoys looking upon the ruins of a civilization that is dead and wishes that he could learn more about that civilization that occupied the ruins. He also says that he would love to be able to study the ruins up close while swimming around them. I think that's a great idea. I think we need some beavery volunteers to come and write a little bit. If you have explored these ruins and you think you know what's there, do tell us. We want to know. We 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 want to know all about this. This is cool stuff because this is indeed a prime centerpiece of the town of Ruins Deep. Uh, I mean, it soon shall be deep, but yeah, it's <laughs> it's not underwater yet. Uh, they are working on stuff quite diligently here. They're doing really well. Mayra's Cottontail is keeping their tails a flapping and carrying all the good stuff to finish the dam. Uh, but yeah, if you have tales of Ruins Deep, do let us know. Um, and in other news, I'm really considering making a lore video for our colony because there are so many great comments um, from denizens from all of our cities uh, that I would love to feature. Um, but there's not enough time in like a play video. So I was thinking of like, huh, maybe if I just make a lore video, I'd love to hear if you if you want that kind of thing. Would you watch it? Are you interested? Or is it like, ah, it's funny, but no. <laughs> so it does take a lot of effort. So I'm kind of like curious about what you think about that that and in the meanwhile we have had engineers probably working in the scrap farmington new engineering school over here uh, also known as people in discord hey folks um yeah have discovered a new way of perpetual power which i think i want to make it's a lot less labor intensive than this thing here a lot less uh, and it actually has a use for the water rather than just recycling it. So I'm thinking of kind of ditching this project <laughs> right now. In fact, let's go ahead and change the priorities a tiny bit. Uh, very low on these and uh, actually these two. Okay, so I don't want to deal with this right now. I don't think it's going to be that useful. Um, well, maybe this feature was going to be useful. We can actually do this part of it. Uh, and then get the shafts and stuff across. But we are going to start a project in this area and it requires much work. And I'm sure our beavers are up to it. So we're just gonna wait till daylight comes in just a second and then I will start designing this um, because it's very important that we get it done. Now, I think we can do, I don't know, I guess we could do some dynamite here does it matter not really I'm thinking about removing this dynamite actually because it doesn't make a difference right here so I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to turn this to slow speed so there is some progress rather than none so I'm just going to delete this dynamite and get rid of it there we go right so <laughs> we need to make some major modifications here and what what we're going to do, and the idea here is I'll draw it out uh, a little bit. Well, actually, we need to have these guys removed, completely removed, and start building some levees out here. And this relies on the power of thirst to happen. And that's the only thing it relies on. It does not require water dumps. It just requires a reservoir, which we still have, uh, and then pumping the water out of a channel, which uh, we're gonna have water wheels in. And here, I wanna make another dam in this area to 
uh, to replace this dam because I think this dam's gonna go away. I think it's gonna go away. So I wanna make that maybe out here or something like that. So let's go ahead and start that. I think we may need to cut into this forest a tiny bit. Make the dam like right across here. I think that would be the easiest thing to do. Uh, I need to count how many tiles we need. Uh, well, we'll figure that out. All right, let's start here with uh, this thing. And we'll have time going a tiny bit. Let's go. I think we'll just have a point, like a actual point. Oh, no, that doesn't work. We need to have these things. Actually, we could do just that. We don't really need this to go there. So let's cancel these and just have one long road there. I think that'll save us some trees as well. So let's just add this back. Um, but then we do need to kill these trees down here. Bye-bye, trees. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, and then I can kill this path over here, and then we're going to make our levees. So we'll do this, and then we'll do more of this. And let's compare this with what we have. So let's see. This is one dam, or one levee and a dam on top. So we need to go this and then the dam can be built on top, like that. Okay, so we're gonna wait till they do some of that and uh, yeah, get stuff going. And then this dam is gonna come down. But here we have a new kind of situation. And I'm thinking, I actually wanna set these water wheels down on this level instead of having them up a bit. And the reason for that is to have a flow thing where they're more underwater. Now this could be a complete disaster, but I think it should work. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of stuff. Basically our idea here, uh, and I think, was it Grizz? I think it might have been Grizz who came up with this, and I'll correct this in the next episode if I'm completely wrong here. Um, anyway, they built a water wheel channel that is uh, completely a not a complete closed system but it has pumps at the end it goes through a closed water channel of water wheels and it kind of loops around with more water wheels and the end is where we have the water flowing in so basically we're pumping through a channel and that is generating the water for the colony so as long as there's water there and we can have water there because we do have this huge reservoir um, that's going to give us the ability to regulate this power. And it, I think he said four pumps pumping continuously is more than enough. So it's like, hey, let's go. Let's do this. So I calculated this. I kind of looked and it looks like we have enough space for this thing. So if we have water wheels, which is two, two tiles for water wheels, then another levee space, which is going to be down here. It has to be closed down here. Um, and then we have another two water wheel, two spaces for water wheels, and then we have another levee. So this channel here is going to be for the water to get into, uh, Scrap Farmington. And that might be a little iffy, uh, just because I hope one tile wide is enough to get there. It might not be. We might need to, uh, enlarge that somewhat. Um, but yeah, this is going to be kind of the easiest way of doing things right now for this. Let's just take this off and then we'll add this entire like levee system here. Oh, oh, whoops there. I don't want to trap them. That's not good. That wouldn't be terrible. All right, get out of there, beaver. Go, go, go. Get out, beaver. Okay, there we go. All right, so hopefully we can get that going. And in this area, we do need to figure out a way to get the... Uh, power upward. I wonder if... Oh no, we can't put the power through the walls, but we can have power uh, coming up here on the middle section, and that might be what we do here. Uh, but, oh, then again, yeah, we can't put the power lower because, again, it doesn't transmit through the walls. So if we want the power up at this level, yeah, okay. So we are just finding out the limits right now, and it's okay. So let's see, levees, let's go here, do the thing. There we go. And those are actually going to be connected here for a bit. Um, so that's okay. And this needs to be done. Hey, folks, hey. Hey. Let's just put these on high priority to delete this stuff. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> All right. 
So this is happening. And these water pumps need to be moved. And they're going to be moved here, I think. That's probably our best solution here. So we're going to have to delete all of this because this is in the water wheel channel. So all this ground has to go away. And, um, and then we can put the pumps in this area. And uh, probably this power shaft is going to go away as well. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it right now. Let's delete the these guys too. And then figure out what we need for pumping. It looks like all oh, this is going to need to be deleted as well, which is unfortunate. But it's okay. All right, let's go ahead and probably we clear these crops as well. So let's just clear stuff that we need. Let's get rid of those. And... We probably don't need this. Gosh, I'm, I'm just like trying to figure out how I want to do stuff and then not having the exact amount of information I need is like, no help. Um, do I clear all of these platforms out? Probably. We might, actually we do need one set of, let's see. This may also have to change and shift to the left because I'm thinking we need this channel to go left and we need, oh gosh, there's, I don't know if there's enough space here to be perfectly honest. Okay, let's see. If we put in a water pump, it's going to be two thingies, two squares and a hang off off the side. So here, there, that would leave two, uh, no, 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 two hangy off the pump part and then another two and then no that doesn't work at all does it not at all so we might need to move this further into this cropland instead that might be necessary actually all right so let's let's delete a whole bunch of stuff and then we'll figure out how to get it from there and then we can can build up as necessary because we want to have it we need to have enough space for the water pumps that's really important but in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and take these levees uh, out further. Well, alternatively, maybe we put, do we put the pumps on the left side instead? That would um, enable us not to have to move those gates. But then we'd have to, no, I think this is the best way. I think this is the best way. All right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make two more gates here. And we'll move the ones that we need to move. So let's just do that. Let's get that going. Let's get these guys here. So these need to be made. And then we delete some of this. I really want to... Oh gosh, four days. Let's... Um, <laughs> we have to delete some of this. Let's see. Let's get these done. High, high priority on those. And then we delete these guys because we need to get those floodgates in before our uh our our wet season starts let's see and here we're gonna get some explosives i think but we need to get explosives all the way down here so i'm not really sure how this is gonna function i think we need to delete some of these platforms i'm feeling that need for sure but we can start with deleting like this. And we might need to delete down, down, down. Let's see. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid that there's not going to be enough flow with just a single uh, channel going through to the next area. Oh, oh, beavers working, working. Yay. All right, that means we can actually get rid of this and start making one of the floodgates. Yep, that's going to happen, but that's expected. Okay, we'll put in a triple floodgate here. And again, we'll just do one here as well. Okay, and we're going to put those at highest priority, so they should get done first. Meanwhile, let's just delete these pumps. And the water here just needs to be... I think we just need one down... We don't need a whole bunch of area for this to work in, I believe. So let's get more levees. 
But yeah, I'm th I'm feeling the like, hmm. We probably need to make this single channel wider. Let's see, we're getting a little bit going there. That's good. Okay, Beaver's working on fixing this. Good, good. All right. So do they want to be one down or two down? Let's see, if we try to put in our water wheel here. Yeah, that's too low. They do need to be up one level. So one down is perfect for that. Okay, so this is good. This is working. Except for this part here. Which we also need to be working. I'm thinking we need to just make this wider. Let's see. Let's get our levees going. I don't know if it matters uh, with the depth. It probably does have some um, say on the depth there. And these, I think we're going to empty. Oh, these are empty. How convenient. Wow, past KOS thought of me. This is fantastic. <laughs> All right, so this stuff needs to go. Um, and maybe we, we take, oh, we need to take this down for sure. Right. Okay, so this has got to go as well. I'm just going to delete all of this and oh boy, oh boy, we need to get this stuff done pretty, pretty seriously, pretty seriously. Let's take that off and we need to get this part exploded. I know that's probably not the proper pronunciation of the word, but let's be technical today. I feel it's, it's needed and wanted. Okay, let's take this as well. And I think we need to do this with beavers from out here, from Scrap Farmington. You guys are going to have to step up to it and get this stuff going. It's important. And here, yeah, we might have to actually change where this dam wall is. You know what? I'm going to take I'm going to move it. I'm going to move this levee wall, this one here. I know this is expensive and it's probably horrifying to watch this, but it's okay. Our beavers love to make changes and that's all right. We like changes. Changes kind of uh, introduce us to new parts of life and prevent us from being stagnating and, and all of that fun stuff. Or, well, I guess stagnation isn't that fun. But anyway, and that's the point, really. Yeah, to not stagnate. We, we don't want to stagnate. We want to change things, move things, build things, do all the things. Yeah. So it's pretty great. All right. So stuff is happening. Really good stuff is happening. So here... We want to probably fill this entire area with dynamite, I think. Except for, we want a road. Let's have a road here. Okay, road is going to go there. And our uh, water pumps are going to go here. So if we have a water pump, this part is going to need to be excavated via dynamite. So let's take those off. We know we don't need this entire row here. So let's take that off as well. Let's just delete this stuff. Yes. We need to make this as deep as possible, this area. Now this area is going to be where the other pumps are. However, we can clear off a uh, part of this. So let's see. If we take out... Um, let's see. This is going to be the shared canal for these pumps. How do we do this? Do we... I think we take off one level or keep one level of platforms and then make this a levee. I think we make this the levee so that the levee can continue. Except we do need to like make a tiny channel to connect to the water pumps or the water wheels out there. So let's just place something and just make sure so we have this and then this one is going to be like that okay yeah and that's fine we could however well, actually maybe we put the levee mm, I, I don't know if we want this pool to be that big so maybe we do the, the levee uh out here Like that ish. Okay, let's bring this up a bit. So the pool is going to be too wide because the platforms are over the pool. 
Uh, and then let's say these dams don't function. This one is going to be non-synchronous. And this was just going to be at a height of three. Okay, don't synchronize. Synch okay, so that's fine. But these are going to be at 2.5. Somebody also gave me a really great idea for that to just click on the space instead of um, dragging it. Because that's where I keep having problems is dragging the thing. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be, let's pause this pump. This is just for measuring. We just want to measure right now. We are getting, uh, oh, good. We need to probably put in dynamite here as well. So let's do that. We have many changes this video. This actually makes me really excited. It's kind of fun to do all this fun stuff. And then Levy. Levy is going to work here. But we have many impediments for this so far. We do have that, um, yeah, that the staircase there. So at some point, we just need to get rid of things in the way. So what do we have for dynamite? I want to check our supplies for this. Uh, we have 203. Now, is any of that in this zone? Let's find out. Oh, all 203 is. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder why it's not getting delivered. Maybe they're building something else. I don't know. Uh, but this has finished, so that's great. So what we can do is is finish this area here and get these things finished. I don't know. We didn't add anything there. Now, can we actually reach this? We probably can. Ah, but we need, we need some stairs. All right, so let's build stairs for these folks to come up and maybe do this whole section. And we're going to need some gears in order to get the um, the high level gear thing going. All right. So how are we doing on this dam? It looks like they're, they're working on it. Hey, good, good. All right. So let's also build some more of this levee so that they can access it from the top. It's going to be easier for them. All right. And the dam on top. There we go. And they can have a tiny staircase as well. I didn't expect them to build it from the bottom. That was a little bit of a surprise there. So let's see. Go ahead and go this way, beavers. All right, go, go. All right, so yeah, this comes to us from the school of, of the engineering here in Scrap Farmington. I'm highly amused at this. Also, we probably should, um, we wanted Scrap Farmington to be a really nice food source. So I was thinking about uh, having these large warehouses store much food as in like just a nice buffer if they need to send it somewhere or whatever. We have all of that available. So let's go ahead and do uh, none. And then we want to allow, let's see, the first one will have bread. Then this one will be, say carrots. And then this one can be baked potatoes. Baked potatoes. Or grilled potatoes, pardon me. No grills, just baking. Uh, and what do we do here? These are the intermittent thingies. We could do a whole bunch of flour and bread. Or a whole bunch of flour, maybe. Or wheat. Or just, you know what? Potatoes. I think we just want to store potatoes here. Regular potatoes and then maybe wheat. Or, actually, probably it's better to store flour because that's the next stage of production. I don't think we have a place that's going to store a whole bunch of flour. So, yeah. All right, what's going on with the power? That's working as well. We just need... Oh, no. We forgot to do the middle bit. Crap. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. How did I do that and not remember to go all the way through there? I thought I left enough spaces. Darn it. Okay, well, let's just do one piece at a time. And they'll get it going. Ah, these corner things, though, finished. That's nice. There we go. And boom. Okay, so that's going to go there, there, and there. And those are all reachable. And this is all reachable, I think. Yep. Uh, no. Wait a second. No, it's not. This is too... Hold on. This one is too close, I think. Well, drat. Okay. We have a slight issue here. Okay. 
I thought it would it would get it on the second level because some power buildings do have a second level, but apparently not. So we're going to have to put this shaft down this away instead. So let's get something like that there and that there. And we have to move this entire shaft. I'm just going to actually we'll we'll take do it the easy way. And oh, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Nah, it's fine. It doesn't matter that much. Okay, we'll do this. And then we'll leave that square open. And it'll be fine. Now then, let's go back to our current dilemma. I want them to... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and high prioritize these uh, pieces of dynamite. Because I feel like that's very much lacking. And we need those uh, sooner rather than later. <laughs> we need these dynamite bits. So go, 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 folks. Make those things happen. Let's go. Because those need to, be, need to be done. We do have tons and tons of logs, though, in general. So I feel like we're, we should be pretty good with a lot of stuff. Well, tons and tons, meaning 50. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh, wow. And the trees are kind of done over here. Look at this. We have actually built almost everything that we can. We've done a good job with stuff. We do have this industrial log pile here that has a bunch of stuff. So that's good. We can uh, use this probably from the other colony. Somebody asked me whether the haulers could reach these place. If I put a haulers closer by and this is the builder's hut, but where's the haulers hut? It is here. There's the hauling post, but no, they stop right at the city limits uh, or the yeah, the city center that distance see it's only orange there so they yeah not kind of unfortunate but that's the way it goes i guess okay so yeah now now the dynamite's getting done this is good very good but we're gonna try to use some of the stuff from the other places oh wow this is this would be good to get down and I think, have they finished? No, they haven't finished the dam yet. They're getting close though. They're getting, they've done some stuff. Hooray. This is exciting though. They're like, just do new stuff and completely get things happening. All right. So this definitely needs to be detonated, but this needs multiple layers of dynamite because we want this to be all the way to the bottom of this thing so that our water pumps have the max distance that they can uh, delve from. Well, delve. I don't know if that's the right term, but it sounds decent. Okay, so let's do this. And again, high prioritize the dynamite. We are actually two and two and two. So this uh, can be made, this water pump. I'm gonna go ahead and make another water pump here. Because, let's see, one, yeah, and two. Okay, so we can have eight facing each other. Here we have three, four, five, six. We had six there. So that's uh, that works. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and this one and just put in more dynamite because that's the kind of important part of this is to get that dynamite in. That way we're able to kind of build all the other stuff around this and uh, set in place some more levees. Levees, levees, hooray! There we go. And then in this area, of course, we're going to need all of these platforms. And that's uh, another thing that we can do. So here we get platforms to be at one tile below. So there we go with this. So that's the height we're going to go for. These need taller ones, obviously. And then we have some outliers that need other random stuff so that is what we have for now okay this is almost done I'm gonna go ahead and just detonate these since that needs to happen and those can go as well these are done let's detonate these and keep on going with them <laughs> there we go all right, so I think we also want to just make this a little bit of a deeper channel. So let's get those going. We can take these off as well. Just kind of detonate this a little bit at a time. 
Okay, and we'll just high prioritize those. There we go. All right, things are happening. Auto saved. Wait, what happened? Hello? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. I was like, why did it disappear? Hello? <laughs> what happened there? Okay, so things are happening. This is going well. This is going really well, actually. Oh, yeah, more dynamite incoming. Hooray. Good, good. Detonate those. No beavers nearby. That's important. Make sure there's no beavers nearby, because they can they can die. Can die via explosion, and it's then you have it's nasty. You got beaver guts all over the place. It's like no, 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 no. You don't want that. Okay, so things are moving very rapidly. Our beavers are really responding to the uh, the whip tactics. Pardon me. <clears throat> it's fine. <laughs> They're doing just fine. Just fine. Yes, darling. Okay, let's do these. Detonate those. Of course, the nice thing is that they can kind of reach over the edge and plant these bits of dynamite. So here we go. Let's take those and then upgrade their priority. There we go again. We want to get this channel at this level, I think. Okay, this is good. Hooray. All right, and this is where our water wheels are going to sit. So this is kind of a happy thing right there. Now I do want to... Oh, are these done? Hold on, hold on. Let's go... It's, apparently it's alt uh, down level or something. Ah, oh, yes. I think the other way is easier. But no... Uh, yeah, let's go up to the top there, and then water. That's what I was looking for. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so we still need some dynamite down there. And we're actually kind of good over here. This is looking pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. But we do want to get these guys on priority build. Because they're going to be needed, like, immediately. Because we have already deleted so many of our watering, or our water thingies. Yeah, really important. Okay, this uh, dam is actually proving quite useful because we can access all of the levees from that. So it's very, very handy. Wow, so many projects today. I wonder what you're thinking about this. You're like, okay, Kat has gone completely crazy. She has built this, spends so much time building this whole thing and then like completely discards it for... A process that requires no maintenance. And I'm like, yes, I have. <laughs> it's actually a good thing. <laughs> the other thing is actually kind of no, ma no maintenance. As long as we're pumping water. And that's the key thing. Is I don't know if it's going to pump enough water or too little water or what. But we're going to find out, I think. <gasps> oh, no. How did you get stranded down there? Hello? What? How did they get down there? Uh, I don't know. I think he's gonna die. How did he get down there? I didn't see him before. But I don't think we can build down to him fast enough. We can try, I guess. Let's see. Let's get stairs. Can we do that? I, don't, I think he's gonna die before we build them. But we were gonna try. We're gonna try this. Let's see. Hello. Um, and we'll put this on highest priority. Uh, okay. Hello. Can we get him? I, he might have gotten down when I exploded this level. I'm not sure what happened, actually. Okay, so let's see. Drought has ended. Let's pause the thing. We need to get a bunch of people now working in these pumps. Because that's important. Okay, pumps. Yes, go, go, go. Uh, all right. So, yeah, we, we actually got quite quite far down here. Almost no water in this at all. Um... Hmm. Let's see. These, uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? I guess we start up these pumps again as well. And get those people working. And this, let's check the level height. Oh, wait, we need to just go off the left side. Height two and a half. Here we go. Height two and a half. These are, uh, open. What we can do, though, is open this floodgate. And just at one, one and a half. And these are at one and a half as well. So that we can, actually we can leave this open to like height one and let the water flow out here. And that'll fill up stuff. That'll be good. Okay, let's do that. Let's just do that. It'll work really nicely. 
Okay, so those are done. Did we get all the dynamite? Oh, uh, we're missing one there. Okay, there we go. Let's detonate it. Okay, so now we can put in our other water pumps right now. And we'll put those on high priority. The highest we got. There we go. Okay, so the other ones, the other water pumps are going to be facing here like that. But we need to figure out how we want to place them because we have this channel, which is going to be running on this side here. Um, oh, actually, it's going to go right into here, isn't it? Okay, once I delete these water pumps, this channel is going to go right into there. So that's perfect. I think it's actually fine. Let's see. Let's get our levy up here as well. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Emma, Emma, please, please refrain. Refrain, my tiny fuzzy. You do not do this. No. Okay, so water's going to go into here via that channel. This is actually perfect, what we've done here. So let's put in... I guess we put in our levy here, and we need to replace that bridge with a levy at some point. But for that, that means cutting off this area for a tiny bit. Unless we put... We could put a district gate over here, actually. Let's do that, just to make sure that we have the extra delivery uh, possibility there. Let's take that and rotate and kaboom. There we go. Nice. And that way, that means we can take off this thing altogether. Demolish the thing. Yes, I do want to demolish. Yes. And we'll get in our levy. Like that. A. Hey. And then here, we can put in platforms right there Um, that one needs a platform I think there we go and then we put in more water tower water pump things yeah there yay 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 and yay aha the yay is real <laughs> clearly clearly real so this is going to be cut off this is perfect this is exactly what we want and then we can have a platform here for walking so let's do that let's get in we need one here as well and then we add it this way okay <clears throat> all right and there we have the connection hooray now i'm gonna wait till these are constructed we definitely need this to be on a higher oh, we did already nice All right, so let's watch our beavers work. This should be fun, should be interesting, entertaining, hopefully. Ah, yes, and we have dynamite happening. Uh, we don't know what happened to our friendly beaver friend, but uh, hopefully he's okay. Yeah, we're just going to go with that. I forgot to see if he got rescued. <laughs> he might have died. He died of old age, probably. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he actually, maybe he got out, because I don't see any beavers dying of hunger. And it's been like four days. So I think he probably got out. Yay. Okay, so the yay is actually real. We had that happen. Hooray. And uh, now we're just pumping for our lives here to get stuff. We have waterfalls. Hooray. Do we have power? We do have power. Tons of power. So we can keep this for dry season. And let's pause these guys so they don't guzzle up our wood completely. Because we have tons and tons of power at this moment. You can also free up these folks. And I think I'll start the water dumps kind of maybe at the end of the dry season. I think they probably have enough water. I need to just like keep tabs on that. Oops. Wow. These people uh, forgot to stop um, working. Whoops. They were working all throughout the, the drought, I think. Goodness. All right. We have some forests here that could use a little bit of help in harvesting. Maybe. Might put one forester down here, possibly. Not a forester, but a lumberjack. Now, how is this going over in Beaverland here? Things are not progressing that far, but I think they're probably reacting to these priority kind of targets here. Which is great. It is great. Is there not dynamite there? Hello? Yes, there is. Okay, cool. 
Uh, they probably can't reach it, though. I bet they can't reach this dynamite. Huh. All right. I think there are definitely things they can and cannot reach here. Okay, so this is height two and a half. So this is actually going completely dry out here, which is a bit rough. Uh, let me go ahead and put a road along the edge of this. And we'll put in a district gate as well. I think that's going to maybe be here. So let's put that gate right there so they don't have like a conniption fit. Oh gosh, already. Look at that. Three days hence, we have a more dry season. Oh gosh. Well, I hope we can store enough water before then. Right now, we are actually in a bit of a conundrum because we haven't even gotten water into this area to fill up the area of Scrap Farmington. This is kind of rough. This is actually really rough. So let's see. Okay, so this is not actually connected. So I want to connect this and maybe... We have a beaver do stuff in Wheelington, Wheeling Dam. Uh, all right, we have six people. Yep, we have a person working there and there. They may need to, gosh, we don't have any gears for it. That's the problem I think right now. We don't have enough gears for building a, uh, um, a one of these things. A these, a these thing, yeah. But uh, we can, we can move the gate. And I think that's what we want to do, maybe. Let's just move the gate to... I think it was up here. Oh, but we don't want to do that up there. Let's move it here. So that they can have their own water tanks. And then... Yeah, that should be fine. But the other beavers can still work on stuff that needs to happen down there. All right, beavers, let's go. Oh, let's also unpause some of um, the things we need up here. We can get more paper. And then what else do we want to unpause? Probably, do we need gears? We have gears. We probably need what? Nothing? Maybe some, maybe some wheat. Uh, processing. We only have 151 wheat. That actually surprises me greatly. We might need to maybe convert some of this into wheat or something. Could actually make some. Let me plant some wheat out here because I kind of thought that they were lacking in uh, these other things for quite a while. But it looks like they may just need other stuff. Let's see. Okay, we don't have enough haulers right now. I think we're kind of short on many things. Who is unemployed? Let's find out where they are unemployed. Let's see, they, oh, yeah, here. Okay, well, Wheeling Dam, let's migrate somebody back. <laughs> let's migrate two people to Ruins Deep. There we go. No, not to Ruins Deep. Oh, geez, okay. <clears throat> Never mind. Nothing happened there. Nobody saw it. It's fine. Mm hmm. So somebody's on the, on the run there. Okay, so what we have now is we have very little time for this to fill up and actually start filling up this area. This is kind of scary, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit like, ooh, wow. Because they still have a little bit of water, but not a lot of water. I'm going to go ahead and make another uh, water tank for them, I think. Large water tank here. That would be nice. Sure. And they can work on that. Uh, it looks like this area hasn't been worked on much. I guess that's because I've been prioritizing this whole huge structure here. Which is kind of what I want anyway. Uh, let's see. I think I want to just take these things off. And then take the levee forward instead. I think that's what I want best right now. Levee. But I don't think this is going to be much of a problem this wet season. It's like, nope. Nope, indeed. No indeedly, right? Uh, this thing doesn't really work, does it? I think we might just need to put in stairs going down. So I'm going to do that instead. Like that. And I'll go ahead and upgrade some priorities here on stuff. 
All right, that seems okay if I do that. All right, nice. Very, very nice. Oh, here we go. Finally, water pouring through. That's nice. Looks good. Good, good. And it is flowing. Flow is good. Flow is good. And some of these crop areas are getting saturated. That's also good. Let's see. I could probably... I need to change this because obviously the forester cannot get down here. So if we change these... Th this is four tiles of wheat. So I think I can just... Yeah, I can just overwrite it, maybe? Like that? Maybe? Yay. Okay, good. Okay, so that should solve that bit, at least for a bit. More bits. And right now we have lots of people working in pumping to get these uh, water tanks full. These folks are also working. And it's of course it's taking water out of the uh, the area, but that's okay. And of course, this is great. This is actually kind of good to have this at least until we build this other big project here. Um, so it's it's looking pretty good. It's looking kind of snazzy. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, right now, we still have this dam here. Of course, that's going to be flowing a little bit differently later. But okay, finally, Scrap Farmington's getting a little bit of water. This is nice. Okay, so they're going to be able to refill their coffers. Hopefully get everything good and of course I forgot to put the path but man look at those builders they built it like instantly and you're like you know KOS it's probably because I have nothing else to do they're just sitting on their laurels waiting for stuff to happen oh yes we need to probably figure out what's going on in Scrap Farmington because we need these absolutely pristine lawns to be pristine that's the point so let's just delete those things because Mayor Tux is not happy with miniature trees growing. How dare they grow? Also, I didn't connect the path here. Um, yeah, let's connect that for a bit. And then we'll also unpause these water dumps because those are kind of important. All right, so I think this is probably a good time to say thank you so very much for joining me. Again, if you have input on what these ruins are in Ruins Deep, do tell us. Um, as well as if you're interested in a lore video, do let me know about that too. Because I think uh, you all have had some really amazing ideas. And I'd love to incorporate them into, into a video and talk about the history of our wonderful colony. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.